I'm back with another YouTube video today, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up better RTP with deluxe menu citizens, and how to put it inside of command blocks, alright? This is going to be a fairly simple process, and um, before I begin, you guys should check out my server, havoc.mcserver.us, alright? And with that out of the way, let's get into today's video. Alright, so the first thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do if you're wanting to put it inside of a command block is download the plugin called Command Blocks as Player. It should be in the description, but if it isn't, you heard me say it right here. Command Block as Player, so you could look that up on Spigot. Um, so, once you download that and you restart your server, you want to go ahead and get a command block out, put it down. And type in cbop command block as player. And type in RTP. Once you do that, you get a button or a pressure plate. It doesn't matter which one. And um, put it over the command block and it will teleport you. Just like that. Literally. Um, see? You don't even have to be op for it to work. But now since that's over with... I'm going to be showing you guys how to put it inside of an NPC. I'm going to be using citizens. Um, so, let's get into it. NPC, create the name of the NPC. So, I'm going to name it RTP, but you can name it whatever. And now, you can see that it's named RTP, but if you click on it, it doesn't teleport you. That's because you didn't add the command for it yet. So, type in NPC command add. If you want to give it all the permissions for whatever reason, do O. Otherwise, the default permission would be negative P. And then type in RTP. Just like that. Alright, so you say command RTP added. Now, if you click on it, you'll be randomly teleported. Look at that. So, that's how that works. Alright, so where is the NPC at? I'm just going to despawn it, and the next part I'm going to show you is how to go ahead and put it inside RTP inside of Deluxe Menu. So it's going to be very, fairly simple. Um, yeah. Alright, now since you guys see how that works, I'm going to go show you guys how to set up Deluxe Menus, alright? So I'm going to cut straight into that. Or don't. It's okay. Hello guys. So once you guys go ahead and download Deluxe Menus or if you already have it, open up the GUI menu, create a file. I name mine RTP GUI, but you can name it whatever. And I want to go explain what these mean and how to set it up. So menu title is the title people are going to see when they open up the menu. The command to open up the menu is open command. So people will type in RTP GUI and the GUI would pop up. Um, size is how many slots there are. And, you know, it goes by 9. So if you want to have two columns, you put in 18. So you have 18 slots. Alright, but. I'm only going to do one slot, so I'm going to put in 9. Um, and the permission, it's going to be default to admin, but I put mine to default, just to keep it simple. Um, and that's just the permission people are going to need in order to open up the menu. Alright. And um, the item is going to be the item that people are going to see when they open up the menu. And I put both the item and the material the same. You can put it any item, but I put mine as pink concrete. The slot is going to be whatever slot you want that material to appear in. So if you want it to appear in slot 1, you put in slot 1. You could do slot 9 and appear in slot 9, but it can never be over whatever slot size you had put it up here. So if you had 18 and you want to put it towards 18 down here, that's fine. 
but it can't be any more than 18. All right. I mean, it can, but then you're going to have to increase it over here. All right. And, um, yeah, that's just an example, though. So I'm going to keep it as one. Display name is the name that the when you hover over the pink concrete, like what message it will say, like the title. I'm putting it as RTP to keep it simple. And there's some description underneath it. And when they hover over it, and the title is going to be RTP, and the little me message down below, I put as click me to RTP. But you can put that to whatever. And it says left click commands for players, put down RTP. Alright, so now when people click the pink concrete, which says RTP they will randomly teleport because you put down RTP for player. All right. Once you do that, click save. And you want to go back to the config YML. Once you're inside the config YML, you want to add it to it. So RTP GUI is what I put in. What Whatever name you put in, you put in there. And the file name. So the file name is going to be whatever this is that you put right over here. All right. It should be pretty obvious though, but just in case I wanted to show you. So file, two dots, whatever, rtp-gui.yml. Now since we're done, I want to go show you guys the permission you want to put in. All right, so once you guys have saved the changes, you guys are want to go ahead and either restart or type in the reload command. So you can type in the reload command and just do deluxe menu reload or D menu reload. Either way, it reloads it. And then you want to do DM list. And if it's not listed over here, you did it wrong. So I would rewatch the video. But if you did do it right, you want to hover over RTP GUI and click on it and it will allow you to copy it to your, you know, thing and press enter and it pop this up. All right. So let me show you that again. Look at that. I clicked on it. It appeared right down here and I clicked enter and it opened it up. So here we are. It says RTP GUI, just like I told you guys um, it would. And it says RTP, click on me to RTP. I clicked on it and it randomly teleported me. So that's how you set it up. If you guys have any questions, ask me in the comment section below or ask me in Discord. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good one.